the evening. All right, Michelle, thank you very much. Help for going digital in rural Missouri and a bank robber who is evading authorities and his age. KOMU 8's Kimberly St. Ange has more in your news from around the state. Thanks, Megan. Electronic medical records soon will become the norm in health care, but many Missouri rural health care providers do not have the resources or support system to convert from paper to computer. MU will open an assistance center in about a month to help smaller providers. The program will help choose electronic medical record vendors and put them into effect. Too often we end up reordering tests on patients because we really need to know the information, but if it was easily acceptable, easily accessible, you know, people would use that. And many people think that in some ways that'll drive down the cost of health care. We'll have less redundancy and less fragmentation. Converting to electronic medical records can also help with medical costs by providing incentives to health care providers who make the switch under federal guidelines. First degree murder charges in Missouri, that means life in prison or death. The Audrain County prosecutor says the death penalty is not out of the question for CJ, Angela, and Chad Harvey of Ladonia. All three are facing first degree murder charges in the December death of an Ohio man. They'll be arraigned on June 23rd. Two of Harvey's other sons, both juveniles, also face charges in the murder. Federal officials are using a new communication tool to try and track down a man they believe is responsible for more than 20 bank robberies in a dozen states. Authorities now have some surveillance pictures of him, including video they got when he knocked off a bank near St. Louis. They're using those pictures to create a nationwide billboard campaign to get out the information. The more people that can see the message, the better. Uh, we put it on I-70, you're looking at 107,000 people a day guaranteed to see the message. Um, that, that's a lot of eyes. The man is known as the Granddad Bandit. His spree began in Mobile, Alabama, and then it spread all the way to Syracuse, New York.